great. So I'm really happy about how everything's going. If you look at the full screen, we'll see that the video is here. We have our description. I think this is great. But something that I noticed is that when we copied and pasted the thing from Vimeo and we have this description of the video, some of the text looks like it should be linked. So if we look at this little line here that says, learn more about TKU at www.techkidsunlimited.org. So my instinct is when I see text to a link, I want to be able to click on it and go to that location. And we can see that our text is encoded that way. Well, what's great is now that this code is on our website, meaning that the code that I copied from Vimeo is now here, it's now ours and we can edit it so it looks the way we want it to for our web page. So what I want to do is I want to make this text right here, I want to make this into a link, but specifically I want to make this little part a link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link. All right, so first step is getting the opening and closing tag ready. And I want the this part, the www.techkidsunlimited.org, that's the part that I want to be linked. So the user will click on that and go to that web page. So I'm going to copy it, delete it, and I'm going to paste it in between the opening and closing tag. Another option is to type the text into the opening and closing tag, but I'm a little lazy and I like to copy and paste. And I also like to be super exact and I'm afraid that if I retype something, I'm going to make a mistake. Versus if I copy and paste, I know it's gonna look exactly the same as long as I copied everything correctly. So that's what I like to do. All right, so right now, if we go down here, we'll see that our www.techkidsunlimited.org is now a link. But the computer doesn't know where the link is going. It knows that it's a link, but there's no location for the link to actually go to. So we're going to do that right now. To input the location of your link, you have to type the following. You're going to do H, R, E, F, an equal sign, and two quotation marks. And inside those quotation marks, we're going to put the location of where we want the link to go. So the URL for techkidsunlimited.org is the following. All right. I put http colon slash slash techkidsunlimited.org. Right. We could also put www.techkidsunlimited.org, but I prefer doing http. Um, it just works better for me, in my opinion. So, I'm also going to change the text inside the link. I, maybe I want it to look just like that. Great. So if we look down, we'll see that my text has become a link. And that we hover over it, we'll see in the bottom left corner of the screen that it shows that the location of the link is indeed techkidsunlimited.org. Something that I'm also going to do is I'm going to have the link open up in a new window. And I'm doing this because I like the, having the option of having both screens there, meaning sometimes I click on a link and then the screen that I am on changes. And let's say I want to go back to the website I was just on, I have to click back a bunch of times. Um, I don't really like to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the link open up in a new window because I think it makes it easier for the user to go back to my website after they go to tku.org. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in this word called target. And then I'm going to put another equal sign. And you'll see right here, Mozilla Thimble already gives us the option to put this word. It's an under, it's like this lower slash and blank. So if I click on it, have now a link that when if I go down and I click on this text, a new window has opened up. So rather than my window being replaced with this website, it's easy for me to go back. I'm not pressing the back button, I'm just clicking on a tab and it's really easy for me to go in between the two without losing any information over here or over on this new window over here. And I really like that. 
Awesome. Great. So now we know how to put a video from YouTube on our webpage. We also know how to put a video from Vimeo on our page.